You are the father. <gasps> Mari, Mari. I'm pretty sure it's Jerry Springer that they chant, but I like Mari better. Hello, beautiful people, and welcome. We are celebrating. We're celebrating life. Celebrate good times. Come on. Yes, I have a glitter bottle of... It's not champagne. I got the results in for the Sephora Squad 2022, and I'm gonna let you know what the results are. I did a makeup look for you, especially for this video. Like I said, we were celebrating either way, so I came prepared by grabbing things from the dollar store. Well, this is sad. Can't really see my full hat. It's kind of coming out of the frame, but anyway. So I'm gonna go ahead and reach straight to you the email that I got from Sephora. As soon as I give you the results, I'm gonna pop this, this thing. And I don't know what's gonna come out of it. I hope it doesn't hurt me because it's from the dollar store and who knows. Hello, Brie Rook. Today we'll be announcing the 2022 Sephora Squad finalists. And we regret to inform you that you have not been selected. <sighs> I missed it. I closed my eyes. Unfortunately, we did not make it in this year to the Sephora squad like I had hoped and like I had wanted. We celebrate to stop from crying. I was bummed when I found out that I didn't make it in, but I wholeheartedly believe in what will be will be. Because I lost this, that means that the next thing I'll win. At least that's how I like to think of things. Keep on watching and I'm gonna show you guys how I accomplish this look. We'll talk more about rejection and how I deal with that given that I have to deal with it a lot in this line of work that I'm in. We're gonna rewind and I'm gonna show you how I got this look and let's talk. So we are jumping right in. I already did my skincare. Now we're gonna work on the base for the makeup. Smashbox Original Photo Finish Primer is a great primer for the foundation. I love using Makeup Forever HD foundation. It photographs so well, and that's why I like to use the Makeup Forever brand for foundation if ever I'm going to a place where I know we're gonna be taking pictures. The brushes that I'm gonna be using, I'm just gonna get it out of the way so I can talk to you. The Sephora 64 brush, and then the Beauty Blender, a damp Beauty Blender. So we all have to deal with rejection at some, in some form or point in our lives, and it's hard. <laughs> rejection is not fun whether you are rejected from an opportunity, rejected in a relationship, or maybe you just lose something. It can really take a toll on your self-confidence as a person, being a content creator. I have to deal with a lot of rejection. I wish I could say after all these years that I've developed some kind of tough skin. <laughs> I haven't. It still hurts. And I don't think it will ever not hurt whenever you get rejected. I have learned a couple things along the way <laughs> to help me deal with rejection. For one thing that really helps me is to prep my mind before the potential rejection. Sometimes you don't have time to prepare for rejection and it just happens. But if I have the opportunity to prepare, like in this case I did, um, what I like to do is kind of just tell myself like best case scenario, worst case scenario. I kind of like to give that to myself. It just helps me personally be able to move forward and not be so devastated if I do receive a rejection, especially if it's like I said, something you can plan for. So when I got the email from Sephora with the results of my application, I saw it and my heart just sank into my chest and not in the good kind of way. It's really sad because it was like, man, I really wanted this to work out. I really wanted, I thought I had a really good shot. And I started looking at the list of the people that did make it in naturally. I compared uh, myself to these people and their content. Then I started feeling a little bit like I wasn't good enough. I was like, is there something that I'm not doing? And, and I just stressed myself out for a good couple minutes trying to figure out what I could have done better to ma maybe make it in. But Honestly, unless they told you, which I wish they did, unless they told you, I wouldn't, I wouldn't know what I needed to do to be better or to get accepted. After a few minutes of thinking about it, I was okay. Because like I said before, if it's meant to be, it will happen. If not, it might be for a reason. Doors close and doors open all the time. You can't really get too down about things that don't work out because it might be for a reason that they didn't work out. Now that we got a good base on, I'm gonna go ahead and start with my eyebrows. And you guys already know that that's a long process for me. I take forever to do my brows. I'll try to talk and do my brows at the same time in a timely fashion. We'll see. But I'm using the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in the color Ebony. And then I'm using the Anastasia 
brow whiz and brow brush. I feel like the thing that bothers me the most in all of this um, is not that I didn't get accepted, more or less that you guys worked so hard to help me get in by submitting all the testimonials and I feel like I can't repay you. Like, I don't know. And I know you guys don't, you didn't send me in testimonials because you wanted something out of it. But I just feel so bad because I'm like, I got you guys to do this work for me. And I feel like it, it didn't do anything, you know? I just feel bad. It was really inspiring to be able to see how you guys think about me and how you think about my content. If you've sent me what you have written, I've kept it and I look at that whenever I'm having a bad day. I honestly cannot believe that I had 226 of you put in testimonials for me. 226 people. Like my mind still can't wrap around that. That is like beyond. I started my YouTube channel, what, back in 2017? And here we are. I would have never been able to imagine something like this. That in itself is a thing worth celebrating. The fact that I have so many of you that are willing to support me and love my work and appreciate my advice and my tips. And like, that's everything to me. And so for squad or not, like literally it doesn't matter. I have you guys and I'm super grateful. Because I have you guys, I feel like I can do anything. <laughs> I feel like I literally, like, the sky's the limit. I can do anything. I have your support, and you've got my back. So that is amazing. So I need to start thinking about it that way instead of a negative way. Okay, hold on. I need, I need to just do my brows because if I sit here and talk to you guys while I'm doing my brows, it'll be the entire video. I can't talk and um, do my eyebrow makeup at the same time. It takes a lot of focus, so... Now I'm going to use the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin Concealer, and I'm in the color 3.3. I'm going to use my flat shader brush from BH Cosmetics, this is what it looks like, to um, go underneath my brows, and then also, again, the Damp Beauty Blender. Also, I'm going to use the Sephora 57 brush. I know I talked to you guys a little bit about me niching down, applying for the Sephora Squad. It kind of really made me niche down more into the makeup world because that's pretty much what the whole program was about, was makeup and beauty things. So I needed to niche down into more beauty content and that's what I did. I have so much fun with doing beauty. I also enjoy doing lifestyle and that's what makes it hard for me to want to niche down so much to beauty because I really, really enjoy doing like the video I did last week when it was like, get better with me. Like I like spontaneous day in the life kind of things. I am gonna be working through that. I wanna be able to grow, you know? I wanna be able to grow and not having a niche makes it very difficult for a person to grow. So I'm gonna have to be very careful in how I go about incorporating lifestyle into my content. Let me know you guys' feedback on what you thought of the last video that I did here on YouTube with the get better with me kind of video. Because I didn't get accepted into the Sephora program, this will allow me to really figure out how I can incorporate more lifestyle into my content and not be so scared to do so because when I was being reviewed, to be a part of the Sephora squad. I was afraid to do any kind of lifestyle stuff because I didn't want to ruin my chances in getting accepted. That's that's not good that I did that because that's limiting myself. But I wanted to try it out and I'm glad that I did. I'm gonna go ahead and put on the Benefit 24 hour brow setter for my eyebrows, uh, even though they're looking kind of strange today. What is going on with them? I'm gonna bring out my Truly Madly Deeply palette. I love this palette so much. It has so many pretty colors and fun stuff is what it looks like. Look at how fun that is. There's just always, there's always something. So I'm gonna actually take um, the color Hungry Ghost in this palette here. It's right there. And we're gonna go ahead and take my finger and we're gonna work this into the eye. Not in into your eye, but onto the eye. Lid. <laughs> Correction. I'm just gonna dab it because I don't want it too crazy. I just almost like want it like a light sparkle. That's cool, but I'm gonna also take the color Renegade here. It's a little bit more gold, and I'm gonna pack that on as well. Now we're gonna go ahead and take my favorite 
Makeup by Mario palette. This is the Bronzy Glam palette and I'm gonna use this brown color. I love this color because it really plays well with my eyes. I'm gonna work that into the crease just to give it a little bit more definition. My hair, everything, the vibe is giving very much so like flapper girl. These are the Ardell Wispy Lashes that I have that I'm gonna use. I love Ardell Wispies. They're just the best lashes ever. I love how thin the strip is. I hate all the fancy lashes everybody wears with the thick strip. Like how do you guys, how do you do that? Because my eyes won't hold that lash. My best recommendation for adhesive is Duo Lash Glue. I get the dark tone because when it dries, it's not like clear, it's literally like black. And I like that. I just slightly drag the glue along the line of the lash. I wait for a little bit and then I'm gonna go ahead and apply it on. I like to apply it in the middle and then work my way into this part. There you go. Katie, like model, to a leader. I'm not gonna do liner with this look. I was thinking about it, but I don't think I need to. I think it actually looks really good without eyeliner on top, but we are going to balance out the eye look with um, shadow underneath on the bottom side of the lashes and mascara as well. We're gonna take that same Makeup by Mario palette that I used with the brown color, a small shader brush like this. This is the MAC 165 brush. And I'm gonna take that color and kind of blend that underneath my, my eye. And we're gonna blend it really, really nice because we want the drama. I love taking my hand, my fingers, and just kind of making it a little bit more soft on the bottom. And then I'm going to take my L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara in Carbon Black, and we're going to put mascara on the top and on the bottom of these lashes to kind of blend it all together and make it look more cohesive. I don't like to put a lot because then you can make it look clumpy. So on the top, just put a little bit, but on the bottom, don't be shy. So there is the eye makeup. I really love it. It's party, but it's kind of natural in a way. I don't know if that makes sense. I'm gonna go ahead and do some bronzer and I'm gonna use my NARS Laguna Bronzer, a classic. The brush that I'm using is the BH Cosmetics brush. It's 124 is the number. I'm not doing a very um, crazy contour for this look. We're doing very light and airy and natural looking, so very light contour. I'm going to do a light contour on my nose with the same palette. I'm gonna use my brush, my favorite brush from Outlash London. It's an angled brush, and we're gonna do a light nose contour just really quick. We're gonna take the e.l.f. Cosmetics brush, stipple brush, we're gonna blend that through. This is such an old blush, but I really feel like it works with the vibes of this look. This is the Milani Bellissimo Bronze Bake baked powder blush, an ancient blush. I bought it probably like 10 years ago. It's a beautiful like goldish, like it's just, I don't even, I don't need to speak. Look at that. This is like such a beautiful blush. It's just screams summertime golden goddess. I'm gonna go ahead and do a little bit of a highlighter, even though I already kind of have that highlight going on from the blush. I'm gonna use the Natasha Denona Bronze and Glow palette and using her highlighter, it's almost gone and I need to get another one. But I'm going to go ahead and put that above my brow line on the tip of my nose, Cupid's bow, and then just a bit right here. I'm gonna use the lightweight lipstick from Merit in the color Millennial and just look at this color, it's really pretty. To finish off the entire look, I'm going to take the NYX Matte Finish Spray. This is gonna help keep everything matte. And there you have it. I don't know what to call it, a celebratory look. You can do this for a party, you can do this for graduation, you can do it for prom, you can do it for, uh, I mean, even a wedding if you really wanted to be like the golden goddess at the wedding. You could do this look anywhere. It looks like I'm going to a flapper party. 
um, and I'm okay with that. So that is all that I have for you guys. Thank you so much for being patient with me. Just always being there to support me and believing in me. I so much appreciate you. You have no idea. I don't appreciate you though. I guess the last question would be, will I apply for the Sephora Squad 2023 next year? Um, and honestly, I don't know yet. I don't want to say no because I don't want to sound like a sore loser, but also I don't want to say yes because I feel like I am making a lot of progress in the content creation world. I'm making a lot of connections now that I live here, closer to LA and San Diego. So I might not need Sephora. Um, next year, depending on how this year goes. So I'm really excited to see what happens. Um, and I'll always, of course, keep you guys up to date if I do decide to apply again. But for now, I am really happy where I'm at and I'm very, again, grateful for you. And I thank you so, so very much for watching this video and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye.